So hey you guys, welcome back to Dee's Divinity. In this episode of Dee's Divine Tarot, I decided to, well, it wasn't me obviously, <laughs> definitely the spirit, but upon doing a previous reading, just looking at the collective energy for today, um, inspired me to do, because <laughs> I was getting different downloads regarding um couples and, and situationships and relationships right so it truly inspired me to do this here episode um which is you know like a divine twin flame kind of deal right because there's something just <laughs> shaking there's something shaking in the atmosphere right um various various different dynamics going on and so I just kind of wanted to see and this could be just within oneself. So don't don't think of it as having to be a physical, you know what I'm saying, like a, a specific relationship. But if it if it pertains, if it resonates, then so be it. But really I'm just trying to gather what energies the divine feminine is uh displaying towards the divine masculines and vice versa, right? So with that being said, I'm gonna go over um go ahead and I've already set the intentions into the cards to see, you know, gather the energies. Um, I'm going to, as we know, divine feminines here to the left, divine masculines here to the right of our selenite tower wand, right? Um, so, yeah, that's how we're going to try to do this, right? And let's see what's what we've got going on. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and call on Venus, right? It's only appropriate. <laughs> Let's open up that heart chakra and uh, call on Raphael. And let's bring Gabriel in with the truth, right? <laughs> and uh, Metatron to remove any blockages that may be hindering this union. Yeah. And of course, Ganesha. It's only, it's only promising as well since we're going to use the deck, right? Bring forth any and all um, energies, whether it's clearing out removing because that, that's that's definitely part of what the last reading is telling us advising us to do is to clear our energies because you can't have any blockages in the way otherwise that's gonna uh kind of further push back our whether you're trying to track your divine masculine or your divine feminine so yeah let's let's bring forth connection along with metatron to remove any obstacles that may be in our way right yeah hmm and of course, our angels, ancestors, spirit guides, and heavenly father who protects us and keeps us safe and heals our hearts and, you know, clears our minds so we can make these decisions and gives us the insight and discernment to be able to, you know, go forth with love and light in whatever we do. And so with that being said, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. And we're going to start out with this roomy deck, right? Let's see what we got going on here, y'all. Oh, immediately. <laughs> you who show the way, divine feminines. You who show the way. You are that love and light. That's a master number 33. So come with it. Come with it. Don't be scared. <laughs> Don't be scared. And let's see where our masculines lie. What do we have for divine masculines, Rumi? What do we have for divine masculines? Make it plain. Let's see. Make it plain. Ooh, okay. Y'all trying to pop out. I'm going to take the ones that flipped because there are several that came out. Oh, a lot. <laughs> so let's see if we can fit these on. We have nine. This is the end of a cycle and it's the impossible made possible. That's how they see you feminines. And vice versa, because, you know, you mirror the energies. So that's beautiful. <laughs> that's the way out of no way. That's beautiful. And I doubt we'll be able to fit all these up here. And then we have the all-encompassing hand. 20. Beautiful. 
it's like that's that gift i see that as the gift of like kind of pentacle energy but it's more of like full of love and light right that's that grounded love that stable love that balanced love equal give and take kind of love right beautiful and then we have look let love transform so some of your some of you are personally going through a transformation may have come out of a recent tower moment with that five energy right you're going through a major change and it's in the air i told you i feel it like i feel it real heavy and strong and some of you if you haven't already you need to go through this um transformation so don't resist it in the previous reading um we had the healing and the drive come out in reverse for Ganesha and that you know that there was telling me that a lot of you are resisting the process and you can't spirit is asking you to pause you have to take that time to heal and you have to take that time to just be still you know clear your energy that was among several others that was the following card that came out with them with the other energies you know you have to you have to clear your energy and, and just take time to pause and look at things from a different perspective and just appreciate where you are in the on your journey not allowing anything besides love to heal and for those of you who have taken time to go through the dark night of the soul and face your shadow self and really take time to find that self-love and transform yourself first and foremost, because that's how it works before you can even attract what it is you seek through love. You have to learn to love yourself before you will get that brought to you in the physical, right? You're not going to find that in anyone else. You have to find that in yourself first, but it's very powerful to see because for those of you who have done this, it's like, okay, now you are safe. It is safe to come out of that um, kind of hermit mode, right? And come into, um, like I said, the, the state of clearing your energy now and starting anew. Because when you transform, you're made anew. You're not the same person you once were. There's no way you can go through a transformation and still remain the same. You're supposed to change. That's why this is a five. If you remain the same, something's not right. That's a problem, right? Mm. I feel like strong. That's both of your energy. So we're going we're going to put that there. Beautiful. And let's see what we got at the bottom of the deck. Look, what did I say? <laughs> what did I say? A new gown. This is like like I this is kind of like my baptismal card almost. This one in a, in a cloak, but it's a nine. So it's like you're, you're in, you're at the end of that cycle. Just like I was just saying about the healing process and the transformation process. Once you go through that, you know, it's part of it. You are made anew. So now you're wearing you, you, and people be like, you're different. Well, yeah, I'm supposed to be. <laughs> You've changed. Well, yeah. Didn't you? <laughs> So say thank you, you know, because look, and then you go from the nine to the 10. Look at that. It is a sacred union. That's beautiful. Look how they're coming together. Divine feminine and masculine energies. And it doesn't matter, you know, male or female. This is that union that must occur within you first and foremost before you can, you know, manifest it in the physical. Beautiful. And yes, the right choice. And look at this synchronicity, y'all. See, I cannot make this. Sh I can't make it up. I can't make it up. You go from the nine to the ten. Right? To the eleven. It's potential, but still there. The right choice, first and foremost, is choosing yourself. 
choosing to go through the battles of, like I said, the dark night of the soul to heal yourself first and foremost, to bring those uh, divine feminine and masculine energies together within yourself. And then, then you will get all that you wish for. Look, and I just spoke of the cloak, y'all. That's a new beautiful gown in love. You're surrounded with love. Look at all that heart energy. And it's a four, y'all. Universal four years. Some of y'all is major, major, major things are changing up in your life. And when you become in balance with your divine feminine masculine energies, y'all seriously, some of you might be getting married because I'm, I'm hearing they're saying four of wands. Y'all know the four of wands card is the ultimate stability, the 1111 gateway, the solid foundation, the union, right? The celebration, building a new, whether this is a brand new relationship for you or, you know, rekindling like, um, reconciling and changing because both you and your mate have went through that tra transformation and have changed together. That is beautiful. Thank you, spirit. I love it. I love those synchronicities. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I didn't mean to cover this one up, but so yeah, we got um, five and six and then nine. And of course the 20, which is two up there on the table. So that's beautiful. God, that's confirmation. I love to see that. So let's see first and foremost kind of <laughs> where the energies lie let's see what the uh, divine feminine is feeling here towards the divine masculine what is the divine feminine feeling towards the divine masculine spirit what are our divine feminines feeling What are our divine feminine feeling, spirit? Make it plain. I want jumpers. I want them to clearly stand out. <laughs> Ooh, not the whole stack though. I, no, I was about to say y'all being stubborn. We still got quite a few that popped out, but we'll take them. Look, you're getting you're getting balanced. Some of you, this may seriously be in regards to a, a legal battle, you know. You're getting justice. You're getting that peace, that clarity, that balance in your life. Shouts out to Archangel Michael coming through in Libra. Beautiful. Mm. Some of you feel that your divine masculine, and look, y'all, I can't make this up as I say Archangel Michael. This is definitely Arch Archangel Michael's card. Clarity, truth. You're seeing it for what it is. You know this is the one, literally. And I was just getting ready to say, some of you know that and feel that your divine masculine is balance balances you right that's your yin and yang that's your uh that's your yang right beautiful and that is confirmation right here gorgeous and some of you are ready to accept that offer you've been renewed this is a new offer this is truly divine masculine energy Shouts out to my earth gang. You don't have to be, but some of you, you know, this may be confirmation that um, if you are um, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or you could be dealing with an earth sign. Gorgeous. And these, uh, this is giving me air energy strong. And I, I said, uh, you know, uh, Libra. And um, air energy, so you could be a um, Gemini. Um, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Sorry, y'all. And then, um, for whatever reason, Spirit is telling me 
uh, I'm getting sun energy. So Leo and um, Sagittarius is, is being screened. And I know, you know, that's generally the temperance card, but I, because temperance also has to do with balance, but that's what, that's what um, spirit is telling me. So if you are those signs, Gorgeous, gorgeous feminines. <laughs> Y'all see it clearly. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Yes. And they cleared out all the obstacles in my way. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, masculines, what you got? What you got for the feminines, masculines? What is your energy towards them? Make it plain, spirit. What are our masculines feeling? That's what we come. So first out we have, oh, beautiful. They see you as their rock. their rock their sword and shield and you know what this is kind of reminding me of the shield you are the wheel in the middle of the wheel but yes you are the rock their sword and shield feminines you are remember the energies are mirrored and reciprocated so that's beautiful oh and definitely, I told y'all I was getting Leo vibes. You're courageous. You got all, you're full of self-confidence. You are gorgeous. You are everything to them. Especially with that sun energy. Gorgeous. Ooh, okay. We got way too many. I'm going to take the ones that flipped and they still got quite a bit so let's see so yeah look at oh beautiful gorgeous 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 okay this is how they flipped y'all so look at this they definitely see you as independent right in this nine of wheels like you secure you you all about your own uh, God, all kind of songs is coming through. The whole uh, first Neo came through. <laughs> Miss Independent, how I love her. And then I got the big, the ratchet part. I N E E P E N. Now y'all don't 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 judge me, but that's what <laughs> that's what the spirit is bringing to the forefront. But yes, they see you as independent, like you hold your own. What's the other Neo song? Uh, she is that him? Is that him? She's got her own. Ah, I forget how it go, but something along them, those lines. Basically, like you got your own. I know it's Neo, but I just can't think of. I I think of it later. Hopefully, um, slide these over because y'all got a lot trying to come out, both sides. But yeah, and then though, um, they see you though as coming through, going through that transformation. You could be dealing with the Scorpio, because this is Scorpionic energy, right? But I see that they see you because uh, maybe at one point, you know, you weren't quite seeing it for what it is, and it goes both ways. Whether whether you know, Matt they the masculines probably thought that you weren't really seeing them in their offer and appreciating them for what they had to give. Right. But now that it's changed, which is beautiful. That 13 is a four double confirmation in these fours universe of four year. I told y'all, I told y'all, I told y'all, <laughs> let me not go there, but something major is going, going to happen this year in this union. This is beautiful. And together these make an eight, which is all 
encompassing in this strength energy. I didn't even, I failed to even mention with the justice, that's 11. And then you got the ace, that's one, one, one. That's all about new, bright, new beginnings, being on the spiritual enlightening path, right? And journey. Gorgeous. And then, like I said, this page of wheels is, I consider that like the 11 because it comes after the 10, right? So that's like 11, 11, well, five ones, <laughs> gorgeous not to mention when you put this page you know with this nine you you get a, a two 20 right confirming this all-encompassing hand but it's balanced it's balanced right gorgeous Gorgeous, gorgeous energy. Let's see if they will stay. It's going to be tough because it's a lot of them. Okay. And let's see, y'all. The bottom of the deck energy. Look at that. Balance. Balance and reciprocity. Equal give and take. Y'all know what it takes. That's beautiful. It will be abundant. I see this is a, just pure abundance. You're going to learn to work together because there's three, you know, this is three wheels or pentacles on, on this side and three obviously behind her, you know, fill in the blank. But that's gorgeous. Because y'all have done the work. You have gone within. You can't be dealing with the Virgo. Or you could be a Virgo, but you, you're done. Nine is at the end of that cycle. Yet another nine. Y'all made the possible. Y'all made the impossible possible, right? With those nines. Sorry, y'all. I'm not trying to cover that up, but. With those nines, y'all done the work. Y'all put in that work. Beautiful gone through this transformation in this five energy to let allow love to transform y'all know what it is and y'all have gained, grown strong together gorgeous 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 mind you you can also look at this page even if you don't look at the page as an 11 you can look at the page as a one because again i told you that reminds me of the ace of pentacles that that he or she is offering and you put that together with that nine of wills and that's still completion y'all complete one another and you've gone through that cycle you've you've gone through that dark night of the soul so you're ending that cycle and beginning new like this transformation here double confirmation again because this is telling you to let love transform and you're doing that because you you have done that because you know you've transformed out of that that four of cups energy you appreciate what you have now you know that it's you you see the truth you know that it's balanced and secure again you know that that this is what it takes you have to have this in order for it to work you have to be equally yoked in order for it to work and you know you've had to go in and remove and release any and everything that no longer serves you. All of those previous negative thoughts that you, you had to renew your mental clarity, right? Yet again, some of you are truly intuitive individuals. That's what this is speaking about. And look at that. One, one that you can look at that as an 11, but obviously that's a, you know, that's a two in, in, um, Roman numerals, but it's still, again, I see this as balance. When you see got the high priestess here, she's grounded. She's stable. She knows what it is. She relies on her intuition. I don't think it has to do with any secrets. I'm not picking, I'm not getting that vibe. It's all about the knowledge and wisdom that you hold within you. And I'm really not getting that vibe because, again, we have truth. We have clarity here. I love it. Because, yes. Heart the herald angels sing. 
Glory to the newborn king or queen. 20. How many times do you need to see it? That's how many times was that? Depending on how you look at this page, that could be one, two, three. And I swear we've had another two somewhere, but that's okay. Oh, underneath. Well, no, we had the, the fours, but that's okay. That's still like balance. The decision has been made. Like I said, for those of you who are already in a relationship um, or, you know, are dealing with somebody, because again, even with um, the, th this can be speaking of reconciliation, but it's all beautiful, 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 beautiful energy. Whew, that is beautiful. Oh my God. And I just had to look. Spirit said, just take a peek. Look what's underneath the judgment. This is all about renewal, rebirth, regrowth, regeneration, new life, new love, new, beautiful energy, man. Somebody is really dealing with Leo with this. And I took, cause I said, I said I was feeling that sun energy strong y'all. And it came out. My God, my God. And look at those two tens right there. Now, this is a 19, which is still a 10. Oh, I love it. I love it when it just comes together. <laughs> they just put it in perfect harmony. Beautiful. Thank you, spirit. Oh, that is gorgeous. I love it. 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 Oh, I can just stare at these. Now, I don't really, um, I don't feel like these even need clarifying, but I do want to just touch on this just to get um, a more, you know, in-depth scenario. Seeing what you have transformed out of specifically, right? Oof. Yeah, you've had told you. You've walked away from this energy. You know what it is now, what you, uh, what you need to appreciate. You live in the past, in the past. Let bygones be bygones. Especially for those of you who I said are already in a relationship and are going through that, that judgment, that reconciliation. That's gorgeous. Let's just clarify one more time. Let's see that eight of cups spirit. Eight of cups spirit. Thank you. Yeah. You, you, yeah, you've had to, you've had to heal and find your passion again. This is Ace of Wands, by the way, yet another one. We got 11, 11, uh, one, 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 all over the place. Mind you now that six ones, if you want to be technical, which is balance, harmony. Oh, love, family. Whoop. I knew that was going to fall. Look, just imagine the possibilities, man. That's what they're telling you. In case you didn't read that rock right there. Let's see. And I'm not going to mess with you anymore. I promise. We're going to leave that right there. Mind you, that eight and that one, that's a nine. So you've, you've ended that. Like, that's done. That cycle is that undone. You're, you're done with that. Because now you're stable. Mm, 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 mm. Let's see. Look at there. Yes. Yes. Divine masculines, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. You've had to, you've been juggling a lot, but you had to learn to let that go. And I feel like a lot of it was probably more so in your head, right? Cause there is a little more, it, it probably has to do with uh, mental, your mental body. Shoot, as well as your physical is what I'm hearing, honestly, because there's a, there's a, um, couple of air and a uh earth energy there so yeah yeah you've had to you had to balance yourself yet another two by the way yes because baby look at that the four of wands i told y'all i told y'all spirit is showing out build that foundation then man don't let nobody stop you. You're going to be grounded and secure and stable forever. 
forever and ever. Amen. Oh, that's beautiful. Congratulations to those of you who are making it official, by the way. Send me an invite. Because, <laughs> yes, you decided to move on to calmer waters. No longer will you be in that mental confusion. You're balancing yourself. I love it. Y'all going to make me cry. Mm. Y'all going to make me cry. I love that. You're not conflicted anymore. You know what it is. You know the truth. You know what you're going to stand for and what you're going to accept. And you want ultimate peace. That's the offer you have to give. And that's what you want to receive. Because that is what makes you strong. That's the ultimate sign of strength. Oh, y'all, that is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at that. Accept that new, that renewed um, faith, right? That new passion. That new desire. And then don't be feckless and kind of, uh, you know, um, not brash, but they're, they're telling me brash, but, but, um, um, just hasty. You just got to, you know, calm down, be peaceful. Just remember that. Remember, you know, you, you want to be in this, in this place, but I don't see that. I, I see that as just keeping the faith and renewing your, your fight, your passion. Like, like it's just like the ace almost the ace of wands. <sighs> Gorgeous. Y'all got me lit. Like lit. Heart racing. <laughs> I'm loving it. Loving it. So let's see what Ganesha has to tell us. What do we oh, look immediately for our feminists? What you got going on? Yes, because you started, you put your priorities in order, my feminines. You're also telling your masculines you better get your priorities straight, right? <laughs> yes. Mm, beautiful. Because <laughs> Ganesha's like, wait, holla, 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 holla. Pause. We got to focus on this meditation. That's our priorities. We got to stay spiritually connected or else. Right? You do. You have to be equally yoked on the same playing field. I mean, you're not always going to have the same beliefs, but at the same time, you know, you, you got to be at a place of understanding, right? That yin to your yang. And vice versa. Mm. <laughs> and it's almost like look at the, look at the little, the little his little mouth, his little roll dog, right? That's like the <laughs> that's like even though Ganesh is, is more of the male, the masculine type of energy, I still see him as her. You know what I'm saying? Like taming the masculine here, this masculine energy. Like pause. Let's get our priorities in order. Let's establish this thing. Let's balance each other out. And let's do this. Mm. Masculines, what we got for our feminines? What we got for our feminines, masculines? How are our masculines feeling, spirit? How are our masculines feeling for our feminines? What you got, Ganesh? Make it plain. Yes. Oh, yeah. They already knew. The masculine is new before you, feminines. Look at that. They knew this was a forever thing with that eight energy. They knew this was eternal. That soul connected. Because look, because they went within. Remember the hermit we saw? They manifested you, feminines. And from the moment they saw you, they knew. You were the one. You are the one. Ooh, wee. Baby. Mm. <laughs> Let me find out y'all doing some deep stuff, masculines. Mm -mm. Let's see what the feminines got for our masculine spirit. Thank you, Ganesh. What the feminines got for our masculines? Make it plain, spirit. Feminines got for our masculines. Yes, thank you. Ooh. Somebody need to speak their truth. Somebody not coming. Um, I ain't going to say correct. You just not coming. Um, just be straightforward. Cut to the chase. No bullshit. For real. This blue energy is about healing. 
Um, and like I said before, with that previous reading, some of you are resisting this, this, this change with that five energy. Some of you, a lot of you are resisting to be balanced, but, but besides that, it's like, uh, there's something that you're not really saying or that you wish would be said, like you, you, I'm feeling too, that some, a lot of you feminines are wishing your masculines would be just, just come on with it. Stop hiding your fit behind your feeling, you know, your emotions utilize that throat chakra and and say it speak now forever hold your peace is what spirit is saying because you just might lose her <laughs> i mean you know if it's meant to be it will be no matter what but it but it's like why um prolong you know the inevitable i guess say what say what's on your heart and mind because look you got renewed uh um clarity and again that three energy and that seven energy is a 10 you're complete baby masculines you complete you know because that because a lot of our feminines have gone through and put in that work to heal themselves y'all are complete y'all complete one another that's beautiful Let's see what our masculines have for the feminines. Just give me one, please, spirit. What the masculines have for the feminines. Just give me, yep, this one. Oof, oof. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Somebody trying to put in that work. <laughs> and yes, I mean sexually. <laughs> they want to dance all right in the boom boom room. <laughs> they want you to twerk, twerk, twerk. No. <laughs> but for real. That's what I they, they plan. They ain't plan, but that's what spirit is saying. <laughs> they gyrating in yeah. <laughs> the vision that I see. But uh but yeah, and then again with this five energy though, seriously, this is all about the transformation again, the change which y'all have gone through. And if you haven't, if you are, you know, if it resonates with you, if you are continuing to resist the change, stop it. What are you doing? You know, you know that, you know, rely on your intuition and go on with the flow. Get to moving, get to getting. Be candid. This can also mean not only is this just like that, that energy, like, you know, working out because that that's where you vibrate high, right? Where you're in that ultimate love energy, right? Um, but it can also speak to on like moving, you know, mo like moving forward is what I'm hearing, moving forward in your relationship and be candid about what it is you want, set your priorities straight. And this goes both ways. Like I said, even though, you know, we have feminine energy over here and masculine energy over here, y'all, you mirror one another. So it goes both ways. And at the bottom of... Mm. 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 Except that you have to go through that transformation is what they're saying because you're going to be there's this is growth the potential you have with that three energy to expand and look at the belly <laughs> like Ganesh eating good growing but you got to come together mind body and soul y'all y'all know that's the holy trinity number for me I told you, bringing that mental body here and that the physical body, the earth, you know, the earthly body. And then your soul going through that dark night of the soul and transforming, right? To become anew, to become stronger, more stable and grounded and balanced. Oh, this is state of spirit. Mm -mm -mm. And then you, you're learning to accept them as they are. And it changes. It always should change because as you steadily evolve and change, so should your partner. You know, it, like I said, it always goes both ways, but you have to stay in that in that body of acceptance. Right. Be grateful. This is that four of cups energy is a reminder of that. You know, don't take any anything for granted. Anything. Be grateful. Always find the silver lining and be grateful for who you are, what you have, and where you are every moment of your life. Because from there, then you truly can make the impossible possible. 
The divine will grant you with more of your wishes and dreams and manifestations. They're going to give it to you like, here, baby, take it. You know, take it like here. It's yours. Mm. Look, they're going to give it to you like here. What more do you want? You can have the abundant life. <laughs> For they come to give you life and life more abundantly. Exceedingly beyond your expectations, man. But you must. You must. Ain't no way around it. I told y'all. <laughs> this card is popping up. Get some of that peacock or if you need help or meditate on that energy. This is also a nine, which, like I said, you're coming into completion. You're coming into balance, mind, body, and soul. That six is balanced energy. You're healing. You're healing with love and light. This is heart chakra, screaming heart chakra energy and solar plexus with that yellow, you know, yellowish green in the background. But yeah, you're opening up your heart. I, I see the, the, you know, I love when the peacock, I'm sure if you haven't ever seen one, you know how it, when it, the tail kind of fans open, right? You see all those beautiful, I call them little eyelets, little eyeballs or whatever. The eye of the feather, those are gorgeous. It's mesmerizing. It's like you truly can get lost in a trance as you should. <laughs> Some of y'all are mesmerizing just like the peacock. Yeah. Especially now that you've healed. And that is an ultimate achievement. Look at that. Six energy balance. And you see these two are balanced on either side of Ganesha. That's an achievement to come out of this transformation and know that you're made anew and made whole. That you're complete now. That is that is a personal achievement, man. Beautiful. Once again. It's your choice. It will be a stable one. You will be a stable one. Oh, grounded one. <laughs> Once you come together, mind, body, and soul, and you will be made anew. You will be on bright new beginnings, but you have to make that choice. And this is also screaming like, like, uh, did we get, well, yeah, we got the right choice that came out. Mm. And roomy. That's what that is reminding me of. That's what spirit is saying. Beautiful. So let's just go ahead and uh, finish up with a few. See what else we got with the everyday tarot. What does feminine energy have to say, spirit? Feminine energy. Whoa, okay, that's a lot. <laughs> that's way too many. But look at here. <laughs> I'm just going to show you, but this is just way too many. <laughs> this is the first that I saw the six of wands there, you have victory over this you're coming out of this uh negative again that's a that's a 10 you're coming out of that uh self-sabotaging backstabbing type of energy you know you transform no more will you be you know fighting over measly little you, you're not being that cutthroat that negative energy you found your soulmate and again another confirmation of the um where do we see uh, where do we see the page? Was it in the... No. Spirit, put, put that on my heart and mind. But anyway, you have the um, new... Going on your spiritual path. Oh, no, it was it was here. Yeah, here we go. There you go again, double confirmation. But we're not gonna take all these. We just need a, a few. <laughs> you know what, they're telling me yes. <laughs> yes, because that is the message for somebody. All right, my feminines. That's the transformation you have gone through. And speak about it, speak about it. Don't be afraid to speak about it. If that's your truth. Speak about it. Wow. Let's see, masculines. What y'all got? Please, not a whole book. Spirit. <laughs> masculines, what y'all got for the feminines? 
I'm hearing too that the feminines are rooting you on masculines because a lot of you are coming from this, like you sabotage yourself. That's how they see you, right? Like you've been fighting within yourself in your mental body for way too long. And, and it's like, finish that already. You know, you, you're, you ended, you're ending that cycle. So it's like, come out of being, you know, thinking poorly of yourself, right? Because you are the one for them. They know this too. And they want to embark on this journey with you, this renewed passion, you know, the spiritual journey with you, but they want you to have victory over your mental body and renew your, your mind. And then masculines. Yeah. Again, double confirmation here. I don't want to mess with it, but y'all remember this eight of cups up here with this ace of wands. You're walking away from that. That's what they're saying, telling you. Like you no longer are you in this energy. They don't, they, they want you to come out of that. You got victory over this. You have transformed as well. And if not, you need to continue to go through that process and remember to heal. Be gentle with yourself as you're doing so. Because look at this. Y'all, I can't make this. I can't make this up. We saw the sun underneath. <sighs> Mind you, when I lift, when I picked up the sun card, because y'all know we stopped here with the sun, but I just wanted to show y'all that that's double confirmation. But when I picked up the sun, look what we got. <laughs> that cycle is over y'all are starting new that's 21 so again another 20 and then y'all starting fresh new with the one that also reduces to a three so you're coming together mind body and soul that's how i see this card honestly mind body and soul truly you got balance here in the back you got the moon energy as well as the sun energy y'all y'all I can't, I can't, I can't. I told y'all with that high priestess, some of y'all are truly intuitive people, both of you. And then um, the three of pentacles is underneath this. So y'all are learning to work together. That's another three. That's kind of double confirmation to me because you got three here. And then, like I said, the three of the wheels here. And look. I, I'm gonna just we gonna <laughs> the King of Swords was after the Three of Pentacles, y'all. Oh my Lord, that's mastery of your mental body. That's ultimately healing, right? You 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 you're done. <laughs> you're there. That definitely lets me know that that's confirmed that that this Ten of Swords energy, y'all, you're done with that. And you doubled up, you know what I mean? Like you went from the five to the 10. So that's, or really, and, and reduced, but still it's like that two energy. So there's twos all over the place, but I, oh my God. And that's what follows after this sun because you, you renewed yourself. So now you got ultimate satisfaction. Happy life, happy life. Y'all, that is beautiful. And once again, the difference between the eight and the 10 is the two cups, <laughs> which is here. Oh, that is just spirit. No, spirit be, mm -mm, spirit do not be playing. Y'all better understand that spirit do not be playing. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, baby. And I'm gonna leave that there because that's the end 10. That's the end. That's gorgeous. Let's see what we got at the bottom of the deck for it. Oh, oh, they be nasty. <laughs> they be nasty. Look at that. It's turning in your favor. Yet another 10. I cannot make this up, y'all. How beautiful is that energy? Yes, you will be fortunate. All good karma. This is beautiful energy. Mm-hmm. Y'all have found y'all queen. This is the divine feminine at its finest. Yeah. Mm. And ooh, Jesus. Oh, they showing out. They showing out. Y'all cup runneth over. You overflowing with that love and light. 
Yet again, that's like the offer from the divine. That's like this, 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 this pinnacle. That's beautiful. But it's a token of love. Divine love for the both of you. Y'all's cup runneth over and this is how you see each other. You want to renew that. Oh, I can't with them. Look at that. And both of you look and look. Oh, because both of you have found each other's fulfillment. And together, what is that? A 10. Hello. Hello. Right there. Man, they, mm, y'all did that. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. I'm over here like really lost in the sauce. Mm. So to our feminines, you are the one who leads the way. And honestly and truly, it is the queen that rules, right? I mean, in this patriarchal world, they'll lead you to believe that it's the king that rules the land. But no, that's far from the truth. We know this. My feminines know this. We are the brains, <laughs> you know, behind the operation. Yeah, we allow the males to lead, you know, stroke their ego a little bit. Just be careful not to overdo it because that can be some toxic devilish energy. But y'all know what I'm getting to. You are the one that shows the way. You're full of love and light, feminines and masculines. You are too because you're mirroring one another. That's your offer, your love and light offer to your feminine. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all both are going through this transformation and have gone through this transformation. You're showing people that you're making the impossible possible. A lot of a lot of people doubt at you. Always will. But that's okay. Because y'all know what it is. Double confirmations with these nines. Y'all a new man or woe man. Whoa. Emphasis on woe. Doing the woe. <laughs> For real. You're new. You made a new. You got a new mind. You're balanced. Yet again, you know, that six I told you is about balance, harmony, love, and light, right? You're balanced here with the justice, 11. Which is, again, two. I see two as a balance card. Or, excuse me, number. Because even the two of pentacles, you know, it's like trying to juggle. But I, uh, depending on the deck, I see it. Yes, it uh, generally uh, the overall message is that you're juggling too much, but sometimes I, I don't see it that way. I see it as you you're you're balanced. Right. But anyway. Oh, this is that one, 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 you know, one, 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 one. Keep going ones <laughs> on and on and on. Speaking of on and on and on until eternity, because you're going to be strong. As above, so below with that eight energy. As within, so without. Which is why you've been able to, to manifest and attract this divine partner. Whether you're male or female. Y'all are independent. Y'all own y'all independent-ish. And together, you are complete. And to my feminines, the ones who are single, that's how you attract your, your mate. And it's not that you need to be going out like, you know, yeah, I'm on my hunt for the, no, you don't need to do all that. <laughs> you don't need to do all that. Naturally, the divine will bring him or her to you. Hmm. As long as you in your own, you know. You got your self-confidence, your self-worth, your, your inner strength. You've mastered that Leo, you know, energy, right? You've transformed. You've gone through the process. You know that you have to be appreciative for every little thing that you get. And you walked away from being ungrateful or from things that no longer serve you. You move into a more stable ground, right? Literally. 
come into a renewed mental clarity. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Always remember to keep your priorities straight and be candid. Like speak clearly with love and light for what you want. Don't beat around a bush. Don't, you know, don't play no games. Just come correct or not at all, you know? Mm, that is so gorgeous. I'm done, y'all. May the sun shine light, beautiful love and light on your relationship. Because it's all up in here. <laughs> I feel the energy strong grown and I love it so as I always say y'all remember to spread love and light and everything will be alright until next time peace